Sharp provolone Brock LaRob on a chicken cutlet. Oh, yeah. Yo, turn that camera off. I'm supposed to be on a diet. My fucking doctor might see this video. Oh, hey guys. Just finishing my <clears throat> my lunch. That, that uh, wait, <clears throat> that the doctor uh, encouraged me to eat. Got my water here and. You know, <coughs> oh shit. Anyway, yeah, man, I gotta watch what I eat. So I had my uh, water and my carrots, and there was more stuff on here, but I'm stuffed, man. I just can't eat another bite. Damn. <coughs> anyway, just got a package in the mail today. <coughs> Wait a minute. <coughs> All right. Got a package out. Oh, new guns and ammo came. Beautiful AR on there. Stag arms looks like. See the uh, deer with the antlers. <coughs> uh, yeah. Bunch of stuff in there I can't have. And uh, <coughs> dude, I got your Christmas card. That was very nice. Here. The guy just I'm gonna show you his name. He just happened to. Uh, I don't know if he wants me to say his name. I'm not going to. And uh, <coughs> he just said, uh, "Merry Christmas, Pete." May this season bring you lots of joy and lots of uh, clogged arteries. No, don't say that. And uh, thank you, bro. Thank you. It's really. I just want to show him I did get it. It's hard to keep track of people, and you don't want to look like an ignorant asshole. But it's just really hard because <clears throat> if I don't have something in front of me because I get sidetracked, I'll forget to thank people. And it's like you don't want that to happen. That's the worst thing that can happen. Now, what the fuck is it? Oh, I just got a package today, and uh, I've been wanting one of these kind of holsters for a long time. I never used one. Gee, Pete, where's the gun that goes in the holster? Oh, it's upstairs. Is it really? Yeah, that's where it is. Sorry. <clears throat> well, check this out, though. <clears throat> what do you see this thing? I've seen this before. Who did I see? Oh, uh, oil the gun. <clears throat> oil the gun. Oil the Gun, American made product, <clears throat> I seen this on Oil the Gun's channel, and I said, man, I would love to try that holster out, check this holster out, it's got a big old fat sweat pad for your big jelly rolls if you're a fat guy like me, protects, it's very comfortable, nice suede, soft and cushiony leather on this side, it's got a, uh, a uh, plastic shell to hold the gun and this one should be for a Glock 23 and I was talking to my buddy on the phone and I was helping him pick out his next gun and he was so appreciative he sent me this holster yes he did um don't know if he wants his name revealed but I'm just showing him that um I, I received it and it is American made 100% Hey, I'm all for American-made stuff. We all try to buy everything American-made, <clears throat> but everything's not made here. So it's just, you know, you got to do the best you can. Maybe someday everything will be made here again, like it was in the friggin' 50s. Okay, that's the company. Oh, I got their sticker on my refrigerator, too. And this is all the stuff that comes with it. I, I just got to tell you, man. Oh, wow, look at that sticker. It's cool. I'll put that up here. I got to tell you. I gotta tell you, what's a business card? Damn. Nate Johnson. Okay, Nate Johnson. If this works out, I'll be buying a bunch of them. It's an into waist pan, right handed holster for the Glock 23. Let me go get the Glock 23. Because how do you do a holster review without the Glock 23? How could you do a review on a holster when you don't have the right gun with it? Only here you'll see that. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. You ain't gonna believe what I just did. I uploaded a video. Do you see how you see how big of a breath I gotta take before I before I talk? Is that ridiculous? Listen. Just to talk. Hold on. <coughs> Alright. You ain't gonna believe what I did. I uploaded a video to YouTube and I left the last clip out 
when I went upstairs, when I said I'm going, I'm going upstairs to get my Glock, that part, I forgot to put that in the movies editor. So I uploaded the video for like maybe, maybe five minutes. And I was watching it, and the video cut short. I'm like, I can't believe it. I forgot to put the end of the video on the video. So, man, I'm getting bad. It's bad enough I'm forgetting to fill in the credits at the end, and now I'm forgetting to put clips in? Whew. Oh, well. Um, all right, well, here's the clip. We're going to do a, a combination here. I went to Dick's Sporting Goods today. First, let me, let's cover the holster. Pretend I just went upstairs to get the holster. Okay, I went upstairs. Downstairs. Okay, boom, just walked in with the holster. All right. The holster, the holster. Well, I wore it today, like I said I would, uh, in the beginning of the video. Um, this is going to confuse you a little bit. The clip before this video, before this clip, I was just doing a review one. I didn't even wear it yet. But I'm adding this clip on the end where I go to Dick's Sporting Goods. Okay, so I did wear it today when I went to Dick's Sporting Goods. The guy behind the counter is a phenomenal gun counter guy. Very welcoming, knows his shit, and has an awesome personality. And uh, not too much ammunition was on sale today, but this is what I got. I got some, I got six boxes of uh, 223 Remington UMC. It's good ammunition, it runs nice. Six boxes. They were on sale for $6.89 a box. That's pretty good. You know, that's not like an awesome deal, but it's good. And I got 200 rounds of CCI mini mags copper plated bullets okay uh sometimes i say full metal jacket i don't mean that they're really they're copper plated okay um <clears throat> now as you can see the box nearest you see the box closest to you what do you think happened when i was standing in line now this area this is plymouth meeting a lot of like, kind of like, it's kind of yuppie up there, very liberal. What do you think happened in line with all these women with their baby backpacks on? Yep, I dropped a box of bullets of ammo all over the floor. And they're like, oh God, bullets. It's like, relax, calm the frig down. Jesus, God, of all places to do it, drop a whole box of bullets in the middle of seven liberals. That's what happened. I'm not even kidding you. See how I, I scoop them all up and jam them in a box. I couldn't put them in there straight. Yeah. Well, I dropped it and the thing burst open and everything went all over the floor because you have to pay for your ammo or anything up front. Everything gets paid up front. So there's your little story of that. Well, I got them. I got six boxes of 223. And I got some cleaning patches for, uh, you know, 30 caliber. From 38 to 45 caliber, that means the size of the patch. You could cut them and make them fit any caliber. Then I had these little tiny patches. These are handy. They're great for 22s. It just keeps you, saves time from having to cut the patches smaller so the patch is automatically smaller. Now, they weren't that much money. They, they were pretty expensive. Six bucks. And these were six bucks. So I've, I'm back up on patches again. I got, I've got a little bit of ammo. I, was, I wanted to get a boatload of ammo, but it wasn't on sale. And... Believe me, it's worth it to wait, because when it's on sale, you set, you save a shitload of money. A shitload. Uh, I also got this ear protection. This is my favorite kind of ear protection. I've, I've, tr I've worn all different kinds. I even have the, uh, the headphones that cut the sound out, which are fine. They're nice. Uh, I just, I don't know. I gotta get batteries for it. But I got, these are expensive. Five hours for these? Really? Whew. But what's cool about these is, you don't lose them, and you can use them over and over and over again, and you can adjust uh, how far they are in your ear and adjust how much you want to hear. These are nice. I like these. I always like using these. So uh, it's better than buying them cheap styrofoam ones. They suck. They're hard to get in your ear, and then they seal up your hearing too much. You can't hear anything. I don't like them. So I got them. What are they called? Wow, look what they're called. Shooter's earplugs. I thought it was going to be something special, like... Like, I don't know, like earplugs on a twine or cable earplugs. No. Smart fit shooters earplugs. I like these. These rock. 
and roll. I roll. These rock. Okay. All right. Now to the holster. I wore it all day today, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion about it. It's a great holster. It's very solid. Um, it sticks to your hip. It stick even even if you have a shirt like this tucked in. It sticks to the shirt. It doesn't move around. There's only one thing that it, it, that it did do that that wasn't good, but it, that might have been my error, my failure. This clip here. Um, I wish it was stationary like that, I and mean, I don't like that it does this, which is fine. But when I took my gun out, when I got in the house, and I I draw my drew my weapon out of my holster, the clip didn't hold on strong, and the whole holster came out of my pants. Uh, that would be bad if I was in a situation and I pulled my gun and I said, "Don't move." You know what I mean? The whole holster would come out. I mean, if he shoots me, I guess I can use it like this and try to block the bullets. Or I could be a goaltender for the Flyers. God knows they need one. Just kidding. This is this is a real nice holster. What I should have did was I should have put, even though it was kind of tight, I should have put my belt through there also. I think if I put my belt through there also, not just on the pants, uh, it would have held. So uh, it was very comfortable. It's kind of thick. It's It's big. But um, it's real good quality, and I would put it in the comfort zone. I'd give it a 6 from 1 to 10. It's not extremely comfortable, but it's more than better than average, so that's 6. Okay? Nice holster. Nice holster. Um, and that's it. That's what I did. There's your little uh, uh, confusing video we're having today. Very confusing. But, uh, yeah, it went to Dick's. And also... Not that you guys care, but us Philly guys and some guys got a brand new Flyers hat. One left, one size fits all. The only thing with these one size fits all, they're tight, man. But after a while, like long time, months of wearing it, it loosens up. This is like the old school. Beautiful. Isn't that a beautiful hat? There was one left. One left. And it's fitted. Okay. That's it. Thanks, guys. Sorry for confusing you about the video. Hope I gave you some good info. Later.